AC-130 Gunship Meet the AC-130. Imagine if a cargo plane went to the gym, got really angry, and decided to become a flying fortress. This isn't your typical aircraft. It's essentially a side-firing weapons platform that circles targets like a mechanical vulture. Originally converted from transport planes in the 1960s, the AC-130 earned its fearsome reputation during conflicts where precision fire support was crucial. What makes it unique? It flies in a lazy circle around targets, allowing its side-mounted cannons and howitzers to rain down continuous, accurate fire. It's like having artillery that never needs to relocate, except it's 7,000 feet in the air. A-10 Thunderbolt II. Now here's the aircraft that refuses to die, literally. The A-10 Thunderbolt, affectionately called the Warthog, was built around one simple concept, protect the pallet and destroy tanks. This beast was designed in the 1970s when the Cold War had everyone worried about Soviet armor rolling across Europe. The A-10 is basically a flying tank itself, with titanium armor protecting the pilot and engines positioned high to avoid ground fire. Its signature GAU-8 cannon is so powerful that the plane actually slows down when firing it. Despite numerous attempts to retire it, the A-10 keeps proving its worth in ground support missions, earning devotion from ground troops who know it can take a beating and keep flying. AV-8B Harrier II The Harrier II is aviation's ultimate party trick. It can take off vertically, hover like a helicopter, then zip away like a jet. Developed from British designs in the 1980s, this Marine Corps favorite solves a unique problem. How do you operate jets from tiny forward bases or ships without massive runways? The answer involves redirecting engine thrust through rotating nozzles, creating what's essentially controlled falling in reverse. While it may not be the fastest or most heavily armed aircraft, the Harrier's ability to operate from improvised landing zones makes it invaluable for rapid response in expeditionary operations. MQ-9 Reaper Welcome to the future of warfare, or at least what felt like the future, when the MQ-9 Reaper first took flight in 2001. This unmade aircraft represents a fundamental shift in how air power is deployed. Unlike its smaller predecessor, the Predator, the Reaper was designed from the ground up to be a hunter-killer, capable of carrying Hellfire missiles and staying airborne for up to 14 hours. What's remarkable isn't just its endurance or precision, it's how it's changed the very nature of military operations, allowing pilots to fly missions from thousands of miles away, all returning home for dinner the same day. RQ-170 Sentinel The RQ-170 Sentinel is the aircraft the military barely admits exists. This stealth drone, nicknamed the Beast of Kandahar, looks like something from a science fiction movie with its flying wing design. Developed in the early 2000s for surveillance missions, the Sentinel represents the cutting edge of unmanned stealth technology. Its angular, faceted design isn't just for show. Every surface is carefully shaped to scatter radar waves. While details remain classified, this ghost-like aircraft has reportedly flown missions over some of the world's most heavily defended airspace, gathering intelligence while remaining virtually invisible. F-16 Fighting Falcon If there's one aircraft that defines modern air power, it's the F-16 Fighting Falcon. First flying in 1974, this nimble fighter was revolutionary for being deliberately unstable, meaning it constantly wants to tumble out of control, but computers keep it flying straight. This instability makes it incredibly maneuverable, able to outturn almost anything in the sky. The F-16 proved that smaller, lighter fighters could be just as effective as massive interceptors. With over 4,600 built, it's become the world's most numerous modern fighter, serving with air forces from Greece to Singapore. It's the Swiss Army knife of combat aircraft, versatile, reliable, and seemingly everywhere. F-18 Hornet Super Hornet The F-18 family solved the Navy's biggest headache, how to replace multiple specialized aircraft with one versatile platform. The original Hornet, introduced in the 1980s, combined fighter and attack capabilities in one airframe, hence the F-A designation. But the real game changer came with the Super Hornet, in the late 1990s. Despite sharing a name, the Super Hornet is essentially a completely new aircraft, larger, more powerful, and more capable. It can dogfight enemy aircraft in the morning, strike ground targets in the afternoon, and even serve as an aerial refueling tanker by evening. For carrier operations where every aircraft must earn its deck space, this versatility is invaluable. F-14 Tomcat retired. The F-14 Tomcat was the ultimate interceptor of its era, a long-range defender designed to protect Navy carriers from Soviet bombers approaching from hundreds of miles away. Introduced in 1974, the Tomcat's variable sweep wings could adjust from straight out for efficient cruise flight to swept back for high-speed intercepts. Its Phoenix missile system could engage six 
targets simultaneously at ranges over 100 miles, a capability that seemed almost magical in the 1970s. Pop culture immortalized it in Top Gun, but budget constraints and changing threats led to its retirement in 2006. The Tomcat represented the peak of Cold War interceptor design, powerful, complex, and ultimately too specialized for modern multi-role requirements. F-15 Eagle, F-15 EX. Not a pound for air to ground was the F-15's original motto, and for good reason. When it first flew in 1972, the Eagle was designed with one mission, achieve absolute air superiority. With a thrust to weight ratio greater than one, the F-15 can literally accelerate while climbing straight up. Its combat record speaks for itself over 100 air-to-air -air victories with zero losses in aerial combat. The latest variant, the F-15EX, takes this proven airframe and stuffs it with 21st century technology. While newer fighters grab headlines, the Eagle's combination of speed, payload, and proven reliability keeps it relevant. Sometimes the old ways are still the best ways, just with better computers. F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 Lightning II is simultaneously the most ambitious and controversial fighter program ever undertaken. Designed to replace multiple aircraft types across three services and numerous allied nations, the F-35 comes in three variants, conventional takeoff, short takeoff, vertical landing, and carrier-based. What makes it special isn't just its stealth, it's the sensor fusion that creates an unprecedented picture of the battlefield. The pilot doesn't just fly the aircraft, they command a flying computer that processes information from dozens of sensors and shares it instantly with friendly forces. Critics point to its cost and complexity, but supporters argue it represents a fundamental evolution in air power, from kinetic platforms to information nodes that happen to carry weapons. Okay, I'll let the rest give to Tim to explain. F-22 Raptor. All right, sounds good. Thanks, James. The F-22 Raptor is what happens when you ignore budget constraints and focus solely on creating the ultimate air superiority fighter. This aircraft doesn't just dominate the skies, it owns them. Combining stealth, super cruise capability, supersonic flight without afterburners, and maneuverability that seems to defy physics, the Raptor can engage enemies before they know it's there, then disappear before they can respond. Its thrust vectoring allows it to point its nose in directions that seem impossible, while its stealth design makes it nearly invisible to radar. Only 187 operational aircraft were delivered due to cost, making each one precious. The F-22 represents the pinnacle of air-to-air -air combat design, a level of capability that won't likely be matched for decades. B-52 Stratofortress. The B-52 Stratofortress is aviation's ultimate survivor story. First flying in 1952, this eight-engine giant was supposed to be retired decades ago, yet it continues flying missions around the world. Originally designed as a nuclear bomber for World War III that never came, the B-52 has reinvented itself repeatedly, from high-altitude nuclear delivery to low-level penetration to today's role as a conventional cruise missile carrier. What makes it enduring isn't just its robust design, but its adaptability. New engines, electronics, and weapons keep this Cold War veteran relevant in modern conflicts. Current plans call for B-52s to serve until 2050, meaning some will have 100-year service lives. B-1B Lancer The B-1B Lancer was born from compromise and became something extraordinary. Originally conceived as a Mach 2 Plus nuclear bomber, budget cuts and changing requirements transformed it into a conventional weapon specialist. The result is an aircraft that can carry the largest conventional payload of any bomber while flying at low altitude to avoid radar detection. Its four afterburning engines and variable sweep wings give it fighter-like speed with bomber scale capacity. During recent conflicts, the B-1B became the go-to platform for providing responsive, heavy firepower to ground forces. It proved that sometimes the best solution isn't the original plan. It's what you make of the constraints you're given. The B-2 Spirit The B-2 Spirit isn't just an aircraft. It's a technological marvel that pushes the boundaries of what's possible. This flying wing design achieves stealth through radical geometry and exotic materials, making it virtually invisible to radar despite its massive size. 
Everything about the B-2 is unconventional, from its computer-controlled flight systems to its specialized hangars that protect its radar-absorbing skin. At $2.1 billion per aircraft, it's the most expensive military aircraft ever built, but that cost reflects capabilities no other platform can match. The ability to penetrate the world's most sophisticated air defenses and deliver precision strikes anywhere on Earth. Only 21 were built, making each one a strategic asset in its own right. Most recently, the B-2 made headlines during Operation Midnight Hammer in June 2025, when seven B-2 bombers conducted precision strikes on Iranian nuclear facilities, the largest strike using B-2 bombers in history and the longest flight involving the fleet since 2001. Previously, B-2s had been used in October 2024 for strikes on Houthi weapons storage facilities in Yemen, demonstrating that even decades after its introduction, this stealth bomber remains America's go-to platform for the most challenging and sensitive missions. The B-2 represents the ultimate expression of stealth technology, proof that with enough engineering brilliance and resources, you can make even a building-sized aircraft disappear. These 14 aircraft represent the cutting edge of American air power, from the workhorses that keep flying decade after decade to the technological marvels that redefine what's possible in the sky. Each serves a unique role in maintaining air superiority and projecting power across the globe.